Uh, I'm not an absolutist in the terms of shared space. I'm not, I don't consider myself to be an advocate of it. I think it's a design technique that people can use in the right situation. Um, uh, I, I feel it's not a one size fits all. In fact, no street is a one size fits all. What we have to do is think about the context, think about the uses that we're trying to achieve, think about the balance of what I might call movement activities by different modes, by place activities, people just being in the space, and how we want to influence those behaviours through the design of the street. Um, and, and, and shared space itself has, has become such a muddied and contested term, I think we have to kind of deconstruct it a little bit and work out, you know, what are we trying to achieve with shared space? Um, I've recently done some work with CIHT, Chartered Institute of Highways and Transportation, where we reviewed a number of schemes that have been called shared space. And we decided actually the sensible thing was to classify them and some we've called pedestrian priority streets because that's really what we're trying to achieve, is, a, is almost like a pedestrianised street with a few cars in it. And then when we get higher levels of traffic, it's better to think of them in terms of, well, we use the term informal streets. Um, where the, the rules are reduced of traffic behaviour, but we might still want some element of segregation of a footway and, and, a, and a carriageway. Um, and then there's always the question of where do cyclists fit into that mix? Do, are they sharing the whole space or do they deserve their own space too? And I think we just have to think about all those things.